Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. I wanted to bring you another gear review today. And um, this right here is a Condor chest rig. If uh, you follow the channel, you know I'm a fan of Condor. I think they bring a good value uh, to quality ratio. I think they're uh, what you pay for their products um, and their quality is, is excellent uh, for what you pay for it. Um, and this right here, this piece of kit is no different. If uh, uh, I were looking for something that um, was uh, in a, uh, had a limited budget, this would be one of my uh, first choices. And I want to go over a little bit about it. Uh, this in particular is a chest rig. It's not a plate carrier, it's just a chest rig. I use this in my uh, kind of, if you followed another video I did, this right here I keep in my uh, uh, Crap Hits the Fan box that I keep usually in a vehicle uh, when I'm traveling or uh, pretty much with me all the time that uh, I want to have something that's uh, pretty lightweight, pretty easy. I can grab uh, in an emergency situation if I would need it. And this right here is that rig and I wanted to go over it. All these accessories you see mounted did not come on this rig. Um, these are actually Condor products, and I'll go over those briefly as we go through it. But this right here is a basic chest rig that has just a panel of molly all the way across it. And um, then you have, um, so you have plenty of room. This right here, you have uh, on this particular one, I have, um, this right here is my night vision. This right here is a uh, magazine pouch, holds three 33 round mags for uh, a kel Sub 2000. I have a smoke. This right here is actually a radio pouch that I converted into using it to hold this smoke canister. Then over here I have an IFAC. The design of this one, besides the molly across the front, it also has three pockets. It has one here, one here, and then a couple in the middle. And I'll explain the couple. The couple are in the back are stacked. And I'll, when I turn it around, I'll show you that. But these right here uh, are really kind of like extra mag pouches because they have these bungee keepers. So they're really designed almost like for an M4 um, style mag up here and over here. And uh, matter of fact, this one here, I've got an extra 33 round magazine. I did have to tighten up this bungee a little bit to accommodate it. Um, but yeah, I've just slid one in there just to, to show you what I can, what you can do with it. But, um, on the back side, you also have a couple pockets because this section here opens and that's big. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll show you real quick on that. Give you an example. This right here, um, is a, uh, uh, Taurus 380 and if you look there's plenty of room in that to put that in there uh, with no I mean there's plenty you could put a full-size pistol in there really but just to give you an idea of the size uh, that's what uh, that looks like also you have another pocket here that uh, is a mesh uh, pocket and the back side right in the middle is lined with the mesh and then you have these nice uh, shoulder straps here that uh, are nice and padded. They also have some mesh for some cooling on the back side. And then um, it crosses in your back with these Y, with these little X cross back here. Uh, the good thing about Condor, they've kind of thought things out. They, uh, they really kind of pay attention to detail, to be honest with you, because they have these keepers on a lot of these rigs I've got, and these chest rigs, they've got uh, these keepers that keep all your tag ends real nice and neat, so they're not flopping around. I've seen that plenty on older vests that I've had around uh, in the past, and this one, you can keep them nice and neat. It always drove me nuts with the others. I was always having to figure out how to tape them, zip tie them, something, but these are here come with it. Uh, on the side here, your buckles are kind of cool. They've thought about this, and I've never seen this before. I'm sure this is not something Condor specific, but I've never really seen it uh, utilized on a lot of gear. But these buckles here swivel, so the strap kind of fits your body. Um, so no matter how tight or loose you have it, it kind of just moves with your body, so it doesn't get bound up and kind of twisted or anything like that. So that's a really uh, nice uh, feature there. Then it has a waist belt that comes around, and... Um, on the waist belt itself, if you're a big guy, 
and it has two attach points here and here but if you're a big guy this rig is for you um, this thing will fit a huge person because I had to take it up a lot uh, if you look here the tag ends are rolled up and I've just got all kinds of room uh, with the waist uh, band on this thing um, but yeah if you're a big guy this thing will work uh, plus it wouldn't be that hot and so forth but yeah it's uh, really good quality and um, I'm really pleased with it it's uh, just about the right size it's easy to keep in a, a vehicle uh, something like that and it's uh, easy to grab and uh, utilize for that purpose uh, you know if you want to do training with it on the range uh, you know maybe even some three gun type competition tactical competitions where you just don't want to wear a waist belt and uh, you could set this up a lot of different ways and a lot of different configurations just because it's molly everything now is pretty much transitioned over to molly and this right here has a whole panel of it that would you know you can mount you know your pistol over here some mags whatever you want to do but this is how i have mine set up but anyway guys i want to bring you this little short video and i'll annotate uh which exact model this is uh for you guys that are interested this one comes in at around the $30 mark, $26 to $32 probably uh, for most retailers on eBay, Amazon, and you can um, usually get it around that including shipping. I mean, that is reasonable. I mean, that's, that's the good thing about Condor. I just really think they're a great value. Uh, are they the best kit company around? Absolutely not. There's, you know, plenty of other companies around. You know, again, you're going to get in. These are China made. So that's a whole nother conversation to have. But uh, if you're on a budget and you're looking for some options um, that's reasonable so you can have the amount of kit you really want and need, um, this right here is the way to go. If you watch my other videos, you'll know I mentioned that sometimes you have to maybe have to make a repair. You might have some quality control issues right out of from the you know, factory brand new. I've had a couple things like that that I've had to go in and sew or fix. But to me it's just worth it because of the fact that how reasonable they are in price and it gives everybody a chance to have some you know nice quality uh gear that's uh, just not that expensive for the average person but anyway guys wanted to bring you this video and uh, show you this nice little rig here and if you have any questions or anything post those below if you have experience with these uh pieces of gear and and what your experience are good or bad post them up that's how we learn from everybody that's part of the reason for the channel is sharing knowledge and helping everybody out uh, make wise purchases and spending our money correctly but uh, anyway guys if you have any questions please post those below as always like share and subscribe and we'll bring you another video here shortly thank you very much and have a great day